it's very easy to change, and that's why it's a lot, very effective. In the how to help portion, by changing the slider, even if they beat you one-on-one, -on -one, they must still guess who's coming. In covering the ball, it allows for individual differences. The stronger players can play more aggressively. Off-ball play in the slide of your must system, the better your individual matchups, the more you can push out on the adjacents. This is really effective, especially with the other team not knowing where you're sliding from. What might your opponent do to a slide if you must defense? Number one, they might find the best matchup and clear out all your help. Secondly, they run plays for assisted goals. Or thirdly, they can try to dodge, draw a slide, dump it, and re-dodge with another person. Our adjustments against finding the best matchup and clearing out would be to shut off if you don't like the matchup or really slide early. Lots of times you find in the confusion of lacrosse where a weak defensive midfielder gets caught on the other team's best attackman, he might want to shut off in that case. Other times you might find a midfielder who's really effective as a shooter but not a great passer, to him you might want to slide real early. If they're running plays for assisted goals, the real key to this is being more aggressive covering the ball. In those cases, they're not trying to go to the goal anyway. Lots of teams that aren't as talented individually will try to run plays to get assisted goals by setting picks off the ball. If you can be really aggressive on the ball, you're going to find that you stop those kinds of teams. And if they're dodging, drawing, dumping, and re-dodging, fake slides are really effective. Because if you fake slide on their first dodge and they're dumping the ball, they're actually throwing to someone who's already covered. The other thing you can try to do in this case is to force the ball to the inside and thereby changing up their whole game plan. Now we're going to look at our man-to-man -man slide if you must defense. The basics of this defense are that the ball carrier is going to try to beat his man, but the defender is going to do his best to not get beat. If he can do that, then there's no reason to slide and everybody's okay. What if the other team decides they're going to look for the best matchup. And as soon as they get the ball to the, their best player against our lesser defender, then they clear out and try to get him to go. What are we going to do? Well, let's say their best matchup is, is out here. So they're going to work the ball wall around, We're going to, which most slide if you must defenses will let them do. And if this is their best matchup over here, there are a couple of things we can do. Number one, if you don't like this matchup and you're this defender, before the ball even gets to your man, you can go out and shut him off, thereby making it harder for him to get it and negating his offensive skill if he doesn't have the ball. Or if he does get the ball, now we, the adjustment we make is we're going to slide much earlier. As soon as this player gets the ball, we're going to drive him down the side, keeping him in, in, you know, from crossing the middle of the field, driving him down the side, and we're going to really slide early against this guy. We're going to have that defender come really early. We're going to double team him. We're going to move him over a man. And these other people are going to fill to the crease so that they can't just throw an easy pass in there. The other adjustment we may make in this is to press out on the adjacent so this guy, when he sees he's being doubled, has really nowhere to throw the ball. 